One of the best smart locks is essential if you need to let someone into your house, but can't or don't want to come to the door. That's because you can control smart locks from your smartphone, so you can lock and unlock your front door remotely. Another key feature of smart locks is that you can give others virtual keys to your door, so you don't have to worry about someone making copies of your actual keys. And with a virtual key, you can create a schedule for when it will work and get an alert anytime it's used. So if you have a dog walker or caregiver, you can be assured that they can only get in when you want them there. We have listed the top five smart locks and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website validconsumer.com. Number five, Wise Lock Bolt. If you don't care about smart home integration or would prefer a lock without it, the Wise Lock Bolt is an excellent value. It's not sleek or stylish, it's just a big hunk of black plastic. It doesn't connect to Wi-Fi or integrate with any smart home systems, not even with Wise's own gadgets, but it does have an easy to use backlit keypad and a lightning fast fingerprint reader. It will auto lock if you want, and it's half the price of the Yale Assure Lock too. In addition to the fingerprint reader and keypad, the Wise Lock Bolt works over Bluetooth and its range is very good. I was able to lock the door from my bedroom at the other end of the house using the Wise app. That's important as there's no way to lock the door on a schedule. It doesn't integrate with any smart home platforms such as Amazon Alexa or Google Home, but if you don't need to control your lock with your voice or plan to add it to any smart home routines, you won't really miss those features. It also delivers up to a year of battery life on four AA's. But without Wi-Fi, I couldn't check on it or control it when I was away from home, so turning on the auto lock option is a must. If I wanted to let someone in while I was gone though, I could give them an offline code that's generated in the WISE app. This uses similar technology to two-factor authentication codes to generate a code even when you're out of range of the lock, and it worked perfectly in my testing. If you're worried about a hacker finding their way into your door lock, a lack of Wi-Fi should ease those fears, but it's easier and more likely that a thief will brute force a lock, smart or not, than hack one. Number four, SwitchBot Lock. This funky looking retrofit smart lock is for anyone who can't or does not want to mess with their existing door lock in any way, shape or form. Essentially a tiny robot hand that unlocks your door, the $99 SwitchBot lock goes over a deadbolt's existing thumb turn and sticks to the door with super strength double-sided tape. You can then lock or unlock it over Bluetooth from a phone or Apple Watch or use the existing key. It's not an elegant solution, but it works, and it's the easiest smart lock I've installed, taking under five minutes to get set up. A $40 SwitchBot hub adds Wi-Fi to connect with smart home systems like Amazon Alexa and Google Home, no Apple Home. It also adds remote control when you're away from home, voice lock and unlock with a pin code, and the option to add the lock to smart home routines. It also enables notifications that tell you if the door has been left unlocked or ajar, the lock comes with a door sensor. In my testing, all these integrations worked well and were fast enough, though the auto lock feature was unreliable, meaning you have to get your phone out to lock it if you don't carry a key. Battery life is promised at six months, which is low for a Bluetooth lock, but it uses two CR123 batteries, which take up less room but don't last as long as AA's. Because it's a retrofit lock, the only way to unlock it from the outside is with a phone or Apple Watch or key. This isn't ideal, so I strongly recommend getting one of SwitchBot's Bluetooth keypads. The version with a fingerprint reader is the best. Keypads are handy for visitors and service people and add the option of pressing a button on the keypad to lock the door when you leave. All these extras add up though. The keypad with fingerprint reader, a hub and the lock cost $170 together. That's still a good price for a fully featured, if somewhat strange looking, smart lock. Number three, Nest X Yale Smart Lock. The Nest X Yale Lock is the best we've tested, although it only works with other Nest smart home products, such as the Nest Learning Thermostat and its range of home security cameras, including Nest Cam Outdoor. Simple to use, the Nest X Yale Lock looks stylish and is available in satin nickel, oil rubbed bronze, and polished brass. So no matter your style, you should find something that fits. It's easy to set up and features a keypad outside, so you punch in a code to enter your house rather than insert a key. This is great if your keys are shoved in your pockets or purse. On test, we were impressed with a one-touch locking feature that allows you to lock your door by pressing the Yale logo. We also found the app clear and straightforward to use too. Number two, 
Ultralock U-Bolt Pro with Wi-Fi. If you're renting out your place using a service like Airbnb, then a smart lock makes a ton of sense to make it easy for guests to get in. My recommendation would be to get a smart lock that supports coded entry. Just give your guests a code that only works for the duration of their stay, and they'll be able to get in and out without needing to use a key or download an app. The coded smart lock I like the best is the Ultralock U-Bolt Pro. With physical buttons that work regardless of the weather, or whether or not the user is wearing gloves, it's about as foolproof as coded locks get. It features one of my favorite smart lock designs with a built-in fingerprint sensor and a sneaky front face that flips down to reveal the keyhole. Plus the lock's built-in Wi-Fi radio was a top performer in my range tests, which might make it an especially good pick for a door that's a couple of rooms away from your router. You can sync it with Alexa or Google Assistant for voice controls too, though Apple HomeKit isn't supported. The U-Bolt Pro comes in a variety of models. I like the newest version tested here, with a fingerprint scanner, an open closed door sensor, and built-in Wi-Fi for remote access on your phone, and compatibility with Alexa and Google. But it's a bit expensive at $280. Fortunately, you can save some money by going with an identical looking Bluetooth model that ditches the open closed sensor and uses an external plug-in Wi-Fi bridge for a total of $179. Don't care about the fingerprint sensor? You can ditch that too, bringing the price all the way down to $149. Number one, August Wi-Fi Smart Lock. Our long-running smart lock champ, the August Wi-Fi Smart Lock, includes a retrofit August lock and a DoorSense open-close sensor to upgrade your existing deadbolt or other lock. Wi-Fi comes built in with this version of the lock, so you won't need to pay extra for August plug-in Wi-Fi Connect Bridge to enable remote access with a smartphone app or to sync up with Alexa, Google Assistant or Siri. August supports all three, which is terrific. On top of that, the August Wi-Fi Smart Lock is 45% smaller than previous August models, and it offers a good mix of features in the well-designed August app. That includes unlimited user access, auto-locking and unlocking, and a lock of every action that happens at your front door. If you purchase August Wireless Keypad Accessory for $60, you can add coded entry into the mix too. The August Wi-Fi Smart Lock is a capable, easy-to-install smart lock, a reliable performer in our tests. Available in silver or matte black for $230 or less. As of writing this, you can snag it for $190 on Amazon. It's easily one of the best smart lock options on the market. So that wraps up our list of the best smart locks. Hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which smart lock you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helps you in any way, please give this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.